This video is how to swap crypto in TronLink wallet. The main thing to know when swapping crypto on the Tron network is how to pay for transaction fees. Usually you will be paying with the layer one coin, which is TRX. You can do that, no problem, but it is more expensive. The cheaper way is to use energy and bandwidth. We can pay for the swap fees and the transaction fees on the blockchain with energy and bandwidth. It reduces our transaction fees significantly. So I'll show you how to get them and use them to pay for swaps. The first thing I'm gonna do though is get some TRX into my wallet. I can use the value of that to swap into another coin. So I'm gonna go over to my centralized exchange. I have bought some TRX tokens in my Binance account. So I'm gonna to go to TRX. I'm gonna to go to withdraw, Semfi crypto network. And then for here, just select the network, which is Tron, TRC20. That's what it will say on every centralized exchange. So if you wanna go ahead and buy some TRX on a centralized exchange, just withdraw it to your Tron link wallet, copy the address, paste it in your centralized exchange, then you can send some value into your TronLink wallet to go ahead and trade. If you want some deposit bonuses on the centralized exchanges I use, I'll leave them down in the description below. And if you need to know how to get set up on those, I'll leave the tutorial videos for them down in the description as well. Before I show you how to swap tokens, we need to understand what energy and bandwidth are, because this is how you pay transaction fees on the Tron blockchain, and this is the cheapest way to do it. If you know what energy and bandwidth are, just skip to the next section. If you don't, this is what energy and bandwidth are. Bandwidth is something that you use to send around TRX, which is the layer one coin. If you have a wallet, you automatically get 600 bandwidth per day for free. So you have some gas fees given to you for free every day if you just have a wallet. For energy, energy is the thing that we use when we interact with smart contracts. So for tokens built on top of Tron like USDT or other types of coins, game coins, meme coins, etc., or if we wanna use a DEX, which we're doing in TronLink, we are interacting with smart contracts and we're paying gas fees in energy. So we don't get any energy for free, and so we have to get energy. Now, if you don't have energy and bandwidth at all, then what you do is you just pay for transaction fees in TRX as long as you've got that in your wallet, but it is more expensive. So we wanna get energy and bandwidth. The first way to get it is to go ahead and stake TRX in your wallet. Go to stake, stake resources. You can basically buy a bunch of TRX, stake it, and then you get an amount of energy and bandwidth each day for free because you're staked. So if you see, I've got energy here, I can stake some of my TRX, I get 2,700 energy a day. That may be sufficient for around one transaction. If I want bandwidth, I can stake my TRX and that will be sufficient for a couple of transactions. So if you have a bunch of TRX, go ahead and stake it, you get energy and bandwidth for free. If you don't have a chunk of TRX that you want to keep staking, you can go ahead and rent energy and bandwidth by the day in order to carry out transactions. This is gonna be cheaper than paying TRX transaction fees. So go to Discover, then go down to Just Lend Dow Energy Rental, go into the application and I'm gonna rent some energy and bandwidth here. So you can see I'm in the application right now, I'm gonna switch to the new version. My wallet is connected because I'm in the uh, you know application already. I'm gonna rent 200,000 energy and that says it's enough for about five transactions. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm prepaying some TRX. I'm putting a deposit down essentially, but down at the bottom of the page, you can see that renting energy saves you 38 TRX compared to burning TRX in the transaction. So when I carry out transactions, I wanna be using energy and not TRX. So I'm gonna rent this for the day, rent now. You can see that here. We're gonna end the rental early, but I'm gonna confirm and go through with this transaction. Now I'm gonna be using some uh, bandwidth here as well, but you can see all of this. I'm using some bandwidth, but that's fine. I'm gonna confirm this, put in my password, press confirm on that, and that's gonna carry out the transaction for me. Now you should see that once this is done, I actually have some energy in my wallet. So I'm gonna press close. Then I'm gonna go back out into my wallet. And as you can see, now I have that 200,000 energy and I've used some of the bandwidth for that transaction, but that's fine. So I've got energy and bandwidth right now and I can use that for transaction fees. The amount of energy that you'll need for your transactions is up to the individual. You have to rent it for the amount of time that you need and then pay it back once you're finished with TRX to get your TRX back. Otherwise, you'll just keep renting it and your deposit will eventually get depleted. So the individual has to work out how much resources and energy and bandwidth that they need to carry out the transactions. So yeah, that's complex. The other way is just to pay in TRX, which is slightly more expensive, but easier. So I'll show you this. I'm gonna swap TRX into USDT. It's gonna give me an exchange rate right here. You can select the tokens that you wanna swap up at the top here. So left is the one that you're swapping from. On the right, that's the one you're swapping to. So I'm gonna sell 50 TRX, swap that into $7.90, and then we'll press instant swap. You can see the exchange rate here, and it's gonna tell me exactly what resources that I'm gonna use. So for right here, it says deducted from user. So now we can see which resources that we're using. 
So if I click view total consumptions, you can see that the resources here is 937 bandwidth plus 114,000 energy. Now I don't have enough bandwidth, bandwidth for this, so I'm gonna be paying in TRX. If we go down, you can actually see that the resources are essentially taking out of my TRX here. So 0.9 TRX, because I don't have enough uh, bandwidth. So I'd have to make sure I have enough bandwidth and energy to go carry out the transaction or just pay in TRX. In any case, you can press confirm here. It's gonna ask you for your password, enter that and it should go ahead with the swap. I press confirm after I enter my password and that transaction succeeded for me. So right here, you can see in my Tron link now, I have a reduced balance of TRX because I sold 50 TRX in order to buy $7.90 of USDT. That's now a balance in my wallet. My energy has got wrecked because I used that to pay for the transaction. Bandwidth is more or less the same because I think I paid for that side with TRX tokens as well. Just to show you how this would work though with using energy and bandwidth for transaction fees and actually swapping one token for another. The swap feature in TronLink is actually using the decentralized exchange called Sun.io. So you can use it directly within your wallet as well. If you go to Discover, go down to Sun, should be a, a recommended DAP. It's going to take you directly through to the decentralized exchange. You can use it directly. You can swap your tokens. You can connect your wallet up in the right hand corner. If you want to know how to use that, check out the Tron playlist on my channel. Uh, and also, if you want uh, deposit bonuses to the centralized exchanges I use, I'll leave them linked down in the description below. I'm James, it's MoneyDG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.